Dear friends, in this video we are going to talk about the latest white labeling option, namely Advanced CSS. We are keen to add more flexibility on UI, so new steps are done towards this goal. With latest version of the platform, by editing CSS components, you are able to add more flavoring to the UI or customize it based on customer's requirements. Let's review the feature. Advanced CSS is designed to override existing styles of UI elements. Definitely, this doesn't mean that the feature enables full customization of the UI, but some changes are possible. Stay tuned and you'll see several examples. Initially, you need to log in to your ThinkBoard Professional Edition instance version 3.x and jump to white labeling section, whereas you will find the Advanced CSS button. Notice, Advanced CSS is not available for versions of the platform bundled with AngularJS framework. Assuming you are using Chrome browser, now open Page Inspector. Right-click on your mouse on the page, then select Inspect Item. Here we can see the Developer's Tools. The Styles tab shows CSS elements of the certain web page. You may use Element Selector to find out the element you are interested in to define its style. Moving to examples. First hint. Let's change the animation of menu buttons or more precisely customize the behavior of active and hover over menu items. By default, menu items become lighter. Let's highlight the active section with deep orange color for example and change the hover color to light orange. Using element selector you will find the material button class. Jump to style details to reach the elements that are of our interest. Now we can adjust the hovering color. Please use these RGB schema values with high alpha channel value. Here with, whenever you put the cursor of your mouse over the menu item, you'll see the color change other than default one. Replace the active button color to orange and our current section is now orange. You may play with other colors. However, you may notice that menu items are being coded in this part of HTML source. So, to keep the style adjustments only for administration menu tabs, provide following limitations. This means that only for the listed buttons of NGStar inserted class change will be applied. Save changes. You may now go to Inspector and see the newly created style with ID TB Application Custom CSS. Next example. Change the default font. For this guide, we'll use the Relave font, but you are able to choose whatever you like from Google's free fonts library, for instance. First, we need to import required font. To do this, you may use the following command. The second part of the script is applied to tbroot class and excludes applying this font to classes material icons and tb toggle icon. Pay attention, we use the important statement because it is the only way to override inline styles. Preview the adjustment and save changes if OK. Next example, how to make the light theme. Let's clean up our zoo. Assuming we've decided to go with black-white UI using existing palettes, it's quite complicated. As you can see, the primary backgrounds and font colors are defined in Material Toolbar and Material Primary classes. Copy and paste these elements to the Advanced CSS pop-up window. Use RGB values to change color of background to white and for font color to black. Save change. Now we can see that the page is white, the font is black, 
but the advanced CSS button is still green. So, in order to reach our goal, we need to play with other classes, since there are few other green buttons on the UI. Let's make them grey, for example. Inspect this green button. Here are the classes that are responsible for the color of this button. Material Rise button and Material Primary. Copy them and change the color to grey. Great! The buttons now match the new color theme. But it's not the finish. You may still find green elements within the environment. For example, here is the green dashboard header. Let's fix this. As in the previous steps, we need to define where the style of this element is being set. Material Fab Toolbar, Material Primary Class and Material Fab Toolbar Background are the classes of this header. Now let's change the background to white and font color to black. Saving our change. And now the header is OK. Following this example, you can change the color of the items that may not match our live theme. Stay tuned!